we are going to talk about how to um, get dogs who aren't typically interested in toys interested in some toys. So I have my little trusty sock and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stick a piece of food in there <laughs> and let my dog have it. Right. And I'm going to do it again. Come on over here. Thank you so I can get to you. I'm going to let my dog have it and she's going to have it. And now, um, since she has no problem eating my sock, I'm going to make her do a little chase. And she, when she catches the sock, she gets to have it. A little more chasey. There you go. And she gets to have it. Now I'm going to make it a little harder for her. I'm going to put the cookie in my sock and I'm going to close my hand over it so the cookie can't fall out. And I'm going to make her chase it. And when she catches it, yes, I can open up my hand and she can get that cookie. Make it again. Boop. Oop, oop. Ah, yeah. and she can get it. Um, so once you have a dog who's doing that, chasing it, then you can add in a few cookies. You can put a few cookies in there, let them see you do it, and then you can use the sock and make it move away. <laughs> and good girl. And once she does what you want, um, you raise your criteria enough so that she just touches it with her paw or her mouth, starts slow, but you can increase your criteria and then you feed her right from the sock. Ready? Nice job. Good. Nice. Um, and of course, Maple likes to play with the sock, but that's what you do. So it's a great way to build some toy drive for dogs.